Hey everyone, my name is Jeffrey Way and welcome back to NetTuts. We have another quick tip for you today. This one we're going to be focusing on CSS3 gradients. Uh, I understand they can be a little bit confusing because unfortunately um, Firefox and Safari don't uh, they don't use the same syntax so it can definitely be a little bit confusing. We're going to learn how to create on-the-fly gradients uh, just using a little bit of code. So I'm going to close this out and I'm working on Windows today so we're going to be working with Intype. And you can see here I've created just a div with an ID of container and given it some basic formatting. And if I zoom out you can see this is what we end up with. Okay, so the first step is you want to make a fallback because not all browsers are going to understand gradients. So if you're using IE or something like that, it needs something to fall back to. So begin by setting a background color. In this case, I've set a background color of a grayish color. So we need to do a different syntax for uh, Firefox and Safari. So we will begin by doing background. And this is going to be moz dash moz dash linear gradient. So it's a linear gradient, it's not a radial gradient, and we're going to say let's begin at the top and we're going to go from red to green. Now this won't be appealing but it's so you can definitely see the effects. So if I go over to Firefox and I refresh the page, now you can see it starts at red and it makes its way down to green. But what if we don't want a 100% red to green gradient? What if we want it to go red to green for maybe 10% and then we want it to go to yellow, once again just for the example, for the remainder? Well we can do that easily. We do red, green, 10%. So let's save that, refresh the page, and now it'll be green by the time it gets to 10% of the height of the container. So if we were to change it, for instance, to 20, it'll be green by the time it gets to 20. Now you can continue this cycle. So let's say now we want to go to yellow, and if we leave it just like that, it'll go to yellow by the end. So now at the very bottom, it's full yellow. Uh, we can go again and say yellow, now do another color stop. 60%, whoops, sorry about that. At 60%, and now it goes red to green over 20% of the height, and then from 20%, it goes to yellow at 60%. Okay? So, let's just get rid of that and keep it like so. Now we need to take care of Safari or Chrome because they use the same rendering engine. So let's save that and close that out. And if I refresh the page, you're not going to see anything take effect. And the reason is, once again, because WebKit browsers don't understand it. So we need to do something a little bit different for them. So we're going to do background, once again. And this time it's going to be WebKit gradient. Notice we're leaving off linear. And we need to specify it within here. Note that WebKit actually implemented this before Mozilla. So some people feel that Mozilla's syntax is a little bit better. I actually don't. I kind of like this method. So it's a linear gradient. And we're going to begin left and top. 0 from the left, 0 from the top, so that'll be a top left corner. And then we're going to go from 0 from the left, 100% from the top, bottom left. So we're pretty much just saying top to bottom. And then we're going to say go from red to green. Save that, and if I come back and refresh the page, now you're going to see it goes from red to green. Okay. Now if we want to add a color stop, we do it a little bit differently here. We do color stop. And we can say at 10% green. And then we're going to continue on to yellow. So now it's going to go from red to green over 10% of the height. And then the remainder is going to go to yellow. If I refresh the page, you can see red to green and then continue to yellow. Now remember, you can continue color stop as much as you want in the same way that we did it with Mozilla. So let's do another color stop at 40% of, I don't know, black just for the example. Refresh the page and now red to green to black to yellow. So you can do really powerful things here. Mostly you're going to use it for those subtle maybe black to a lighter shade of black, those gradients, but this is a good example. Uh, the syntax is different and that's unfortunate, but um, this is going to work just fine for you. Please note that Internet Explorer currently doesn't allow for gradients and Opera, you really can't do much with gradients there. So. If you want, your best option would be to keep it like this. Not all browsers have to render the page the same, or you could fall back to an image if you want to. But you should really try to do just CSS only gradient if you can, depending on the project. So as always, please follow NetTouch for the best web development tutorials and screencasts available. My name is Jeffrey Way, and we will see you again. Bye.